Howard's got a recipe that just can't be beat. We're making colorful, flavorful, and always popular pickled beets today in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. Here's one for you. What did one beet say to the other after running the marathon? I have no idea. I'm beat. <laughs> oh, so Howard. <laughs> All right, bad joke, but at least I've got a great recipe today. All kidding aside, I remember my grandmother loved beets. While fresh beets are available year long, Right now, they're at their peak, so we're finding lots of them in our market. The most popular way to cook these is to pickle them. All you do is cut off the leafy part, keeping about two inches of the stem on. That helps them retain their color while they cook. Once they're tender like these, we drain them. And you can save the liquid to make borscht like my grandmother did. Now, this is the part where you'll want to put on some plastic gloves, or you'll end up with purple fingers. We trim the ends, and with our fingers, we sort of slip the skins off. Then we slice them, and back into the pot they go, along with some water, sugar, apple cider vinegar, and a bit of salt. We'll let them boil for a couple more minutes. And even with your gloves on, if you get any beet juice on your hands, like I always seem to, scrub them with a mixture of salt and warm water and you're good to go. You can add these to your salad, serve them next to a sandwich, or eat them as is. To get the recipe for our Amish pickled beets, all you have to do is visit our website. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a- Unbeatable way. For you to mm. say, oh, it's mm. so good. Mm-hmm. Ah, she beat me to that pun. You can find this recipe along with a lot more good food from the Mr. Food Test Kitchen online. Just go to our website at koamnewsnow.com.